We take a look now at the logical and relational operators. First of all, we need to know what's an expression. Well, an expression is a C++ statement that will evaluate to either true or false. And that can actually be a numerical value because zero is synonymous with false and anything but zero is synonymous with true. That is, zero maps to false, false maps to zero, any number other than zero maps to true, and on our system, true will map to one, which is not necessarily true with others. The relational operators are less than, less than, equal to, greater than, greater than, equal to, is equal to, that's equals, equals, and not equals to. I want to give you a warning. It is really easy to confuse the is equal, that's equal, equal, versus the assignment, which is just a simple equal. You'll see later we have decision branching where we can make statements like if x is equal to y, that's is equal, we're going to do something. Well, it's very easy to make the mistake of forgetting one of those equals. And then you've got a real big problem. So be sure you don't make that mistake. OK, some examples of relational operators in action. Suppose we have Val and Num and Bob declared short and with values of 5, 8, and 0. OK, the expression Val less than or equal to Num. How does that evaluate? Well, Val is 5, Num is 8. Is 5 less than 8? Well, the answer is yes. Therefore, it evaluates to true. Or if you want to interpret it as a numerical value, it'll evaluate to 1. That is to say, I could actually multiply that by something. OK, what about num mod val? Well, num is 8, and val is 5. So how many times does 5 go into 8? One time, the remainder is 3. So is 3 greater than Bob? Bob is 0. The answer is true. 3 is greater than 0. Is val equal to num? Uh, no. 5 and 8 are not equal. That evaluates to false or to zero. How about num not equal to num divided by val? I'm going to bet that that's not true. Num is 8. Val is 5. How many times does 5 go into 8? One time. So this is 1. Num is 8. Are they not equal? So that evaluates to true. The logical operators. And, or, and not. OK, before we go on, I'm going to show you some basic logic. When we talk about logic, we have expressions, say, A and B. And there are lots of different ways to logically combine them. We're only concerned with AND and OR at this point. So let's go over that. A and B, A or B. These are the logic symbols, so this is and, this is or. In C++, it is ampersand, ampersand, and pipe, pipe. So the possibilities are that A is true, B is true. A is true, B is false. A is false, B is true. A is false, B is false. So the question is, what's A and B? True and true is true. Everything else is false. True and false is false. False and true is false. False and false is false. In other words, A and B is true only if both A and B are true. With or, true or true is true. True or false is true. False or true is true. False or false is false. So with or, it is false only if they are both false. You're simply going to have to memorize that because it's going to be very handy. One special note, the AND takes higher precedence than OR. And that's very important in expressions. If we have A, OR, B, AND, C, what gets executed first? Well, this is equivalent to A, OR, B, AND, C. That's the same thing. Now, if you want to force the OR to be executed before the AND, then you can put parentheses around it. Remember, parentheses are free. Use them freely. 
I guess I should say one other thing here. C++ does what is called shortcutting. For example, it will look at this expression here. It will evaluate A. If A comes out to be true, C++ knows that true or anything is true. So it will not actually evaluate this. If this comes out to be true, then the B and the C are not going to be evaluated. Likewise with AND. If the first expression comes out to be false, it won't bother evaluating the second because false AND anything is false. Okay, as an example, if we again have Val, Nam, and Bob, 5, 8, and 0, all typed short, then is Val equal to Num? Val is 5, Num is 8. Okay, is Val equal to Num? No, that's false. Val is 5. What is that? Well, that's true. Not true is what? That's false. Okay. And what's false or false? That's false. So this expression turns out to be false. Now, in the future, you're going to come up with expressions for decision branching and for loops. So you might want to loop on some statements until, let's say, an input value is greater than 5 and the input is less than or equal to 11. Let's suppose that you are trying to get a value in the interval from 5 to 11, like this. So you'll need to write it in this fashion. You cannot combine it in some other strange way like input less than or equal to 11 and greater than 5. This will not compile. So that is the logical and relational operators and that's the end of our session.